All right, all right, here is me. Uh, welcome, here is Teddy from Seekbiker Studio. This is Seekbiker Studio. The point of this episode is to share with you anything about my gears, uh, equipment, bikes, and anything, and tell you what works, what doesn't work that well, and what is a crap from anything I'm using for my training and racing. Uh, for those who are new on this channel, welcome to Seekbiker Studio. Uh, I am racing now each week, Saturday on, or Sunday, or both, a whole weekend. Mostly MTB marathons, but my goal is cross country because I've been loving cross country. There's not so many races every week uh, for amateur uh, cyclist uh, riders in cross country, but I'm gonna find those and do more of the cross country. I want to share with you much more than I actually do. I have also the Polish channel called Shy Bike. Um, the problem with it is that my computer is working 20 hours uh, a day. Like uh, yesterday I did, I did race, uh, which took me 1 hour 43 minutes. And my computer is going to stabilize it, render it for the first time, then render the, the back camera and then the Garmin overlay for 2 days or 3 days. It is that much uh, of a work. Even though I have uh, one guy uh, working for me and, and helping me, my friend actually. So it is a lot of work. But today, just for you to know, I'm gonna sometimes uh, do this kind of episode so that you know what is good, what I like, uh, and there's so much experience, experience into it. So it's not just like 50 kilometers test, it's, it's really a brutal testing of all those parts. So, what should I begin with? For those who don't know, once more, I have. Candel FSI Carbon 2 and Candel Super 6 Evo, oh my goodness, high modulus old Tigra disc. This bike I got from Canada for six months and I'm gonna return it in May. This one I got in very good price, I have to pay for it till September this year, uh, but I hope it will stay with me and I won't have to resell it, I, I'm really hoping. That machine, this is my own, own project, uh, maybe you saw my white killer project, it's been sold, this one is black one and I love it so much. So let's start with the bikes. Super 6 EVO high modulus uh, disc brakes, uh, I'm loving it, it's super comfortable, 25.4 carbon seat post, you, this is something you actually feel, the rear triangle is so tiny and, um, and it actually really damps um, and many vibrations, so I do like it. There is one thing I will not forgive Cannondale, sorry for saying that. It's the wheels, in putting, it's putting the Mavic Axiom wheels on this bike. Doesn't match the price and the performance of the bike, but also the rear wheel is going out of true. I all, already did episode about these wheels, which were fine initially, but this one is really getting like out of true and the free hub also. Is, um, is making my cassette moving, so I don't like it for such an expensive bike, at least Mavic Serium Canon, at least, but I'm gonna uh, tell you more about this bike when I do uh, the, the final test. This beast I am absolutely loving, I did the episode called the best XC hardtail, uh, I've been testing most of the hard, hardtails, the pro bikes, this one I love it. The, it feels so great. The safe seat post is wonderful. Lefty, man, I'm loving lefty. This is the 2.0, so we have um, we have needle bearings um, in the upper section and the bushing. Yes, the bushing uh, at the bottom. I love it. Important thing: lefty 2.0. This one is alloy one uh, with the uh, bushing and two spring update is no longer the lightest lefty, the lightest uh, fork on the market. This one weighs around 1800 uh, grams, but I love it, the upside down thing, and it's so stiff. You can see me really on those, on those descents on this fork doing amazing things. I'm, I'm just gaining so much extra free uh, time thanks to my lefty, my bike, of course, my technical skills, but I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. The handlebars. Yes, these are pretty narrow, 60 centimeters. Much better for uh, overtaking guys if you're riding in a bunch of guys like 200, 600 uh, marathon riders. This really works. I don't feel like I'm lacking any leverage. I'm more aero as well. I'm using bar ends. 
works perfectly for me. Uh, Schwab Racing Ralph, thumbs up. Um, drivetrain 1x11, I did a famous uh, episode about 1x drivetrains. It is fine, it is okay, but 32 teeth in the front, 1142 cassette in the rear, no way you're gonna go super steep climbs and some long uh, sustained descents. I said once 45 km per hour, I can, I can still pedal. 41, 42 and I'm done. I, I, I just checked it yesterday on the race. I would have saved so much time having 2x10 or 2x11 cassette. Also the cadence is never ideal. I would, I would really change the range of my cassette, have two chain rings in the front and that would be an ideal bike for me. Uh, but other than that it is really, really good. Magura empty race brakes are just Breaking. Uh, these are not really strong. I'm not using only index fingers. I have to be breaking with two fingers, which is not the best thing in cross country or all mountain. Anything you want to go really fast in and and grab your handlebars. So the brakes, mm, so so. Okay, Canada Killer, my project that uh, cost me five hundred dollars, one by ten drivetrain for just overall MTB use great bike. Uh, the only issue I have is the DD60 Hedgehog. I love it. Uh, 60 millimeters of travel is just enough for me even for racing in, cr in cross country but it has a spring and the spring is just not hard enough for me so now doing those jumps and drops on this uh, type of um, fork impossible. So maybe you've seen on my walls I have already Hedgehog Ultra which is the uh, the air spring uh, design and I'm gonna prepare that, that one, paint it and put it on my killer. Lovely bike for $500, it was really really good project. Now some of the gears, um, so you know what I got, you know what I, what I paid for. Uh, Tax Bushido, this is the turbo trainer I've been training for almost two years right, right now, one and a half, a bit more than that. Love it, doesn't need uh, any wires, uh, any power source, it powers itself, so that's the feature I love the most. Uh, it's been doing a great job, many many hours on it, Zwift and so on, um, Bluetooth, ANT Plus connection, this is actually my power meter, the only power meter I'm using for my testing, wonderful machine. After those one and a half year, it's getting a bit louder, so the bearings are wearing out, I think, I suppose. So if I replace those, I will let you know. Okay, uh, now the thing I got. This is the thing I got from uh, Ken Hedge. Mm, you already asked me uh, about how I use it. I take it with me on each um, race and I can uh, just wash my bike. Uh, because it's a mobile washer. It's very good. The test will be on Thursday, so more info about that uh, just on Thursday. I like it. It's super light. It's really, really mobile thing uh, and it fits to our tiny Opel Corsa but, um, car. Okay, what I bought, I showed you the RP3 Shimano uh, shoes, which are really good but too small. So this is 44 point something size, it is, no sorry, 43 point something, no, 44 point something size, too small, I'm normally using 43, 44 size, so I need to uh, change it into 45, so too small, because uh, I get numbness on my thumb from the, on the, on the upper side, on the upper, from the, from above, okay, so um, otherwise, for the money, really good shoes. Uh, we got from Disco Brakes, uh, I've got many types of uh, braking pads, we're gonna be testing those, but we also got their, um, their forks, the rigid forks I'm gonna use for my Kona project, steel bike with a rigid fork, 27.5, uh, I have full carbon and carbon with the alloy steer and alloy crown, so we're gonna compare those, you can feel the difference in the weight, uh, how they work later on. Now, the gear I'm using on, on myself is the uh, Cannondale Beep Shorts. The old one I just bought somewhere on eBay, but original, very good one. 
with the, when the physics uh, physic was the sponsor. Uh, I love it. But I got from Cannondale uh, with these bikes, thank you so much, uh, for free. The Cannondale, these are not, um, uh, not pro uh, beep shorts. So this is not like Cannondale team uh, shorts. Like those, super comfortable, very good uh, fabrics. Uh, the, the pad is really comfortable. Uh, I like it both on Turbo Trainer and uh, on the road. So, really good one. Uh, then we have the jersey. Now, the jersey has really good fabric, but I would say this one is not really for, I would say, fit design. Because uh, when I wear it, always when I'm on the bike, you can always see this here. So, too much of the fabric right here. Maybe for the guys who are maybe not as... Uh, I'm not skinny, I'm not trying to be skinny, uh, but uh, this is not the fit design, I would say. So, if you maybe have a little bit of the belly here, this would uh, fit for you, because it's not Cannondale team, uh, like factory racing team uh, jersey, but the fabrics are really cool. Now, super cool things that I got from Cannondale is their brand called Sugoi, I think we pronounce it like that. This is uh, the the vest, and there is one really smart design on this, which I'm loving actually. The the green color, lovely. But here are the sleeves, and it's all magnetic. It is all magnetic, and it's I don't have to look in the mirror. It just comes like that, and now I have a rain jacket. Really good one, it is, it is windproof, I would say. Uh, also with some additional thing like here for your thumb. But we can also, this is also magnetic, so you can also just hide it like that and have it just like this. Uh, really good, love this design. And this pocket, I would like to have this pocket on each jersey that I have, even on those I'm racing on. Always some key or something, anything would be lovely. Now, if I want to remove it, you don't have to just jump uh, off the bike. You just do it like that and put it into your pocket. That's it. Lovely. Uh, what I don't recommend a whole uh, jacket for is like in MTB, uh, if you want to be climbing for a long time, it doesn't really breathe well. It has this mesh on your back. But this is more against uh, rain and wind. So, uh, you know, those sleeves removable, super design. Love it. This is really smart thing. Another smart thing from Sugoi are these gloves, which I'm using uh, up uh, in the temperature up to 13 degrees Celsius or so. Five finger, but you can just change it into three fingers. So even just around freezing temperature, around zero, this is kind of cool. Yesterday when I was um, warming up for my race, it was three degrees Celsius. I did it like that. And then for the race, I was just still using those gloves. But here there is uh, some nice pocket on those gloves right there. And if you do it nicely, you don't even see this bulky thing here. Cool, cool stuff, really, really nice. One crappy thing about uh, most of this Sugoi uh, clothing I got is that this reflective Sugoi sign uh, comes up after washing the thing maybe three times. So forget about having reflective Sugoi. A sign uh, or logo because it just comes off. So it, it is a crap. Sorry for saying that it is uh, But the the uh, gloves are really smart The the vest vest jacket with these gloves. I love it Okay, and then we have uh, long um, shorts from Cannondale uh, Really good different fabrics on different uh, areas of, of your uh, of your shorts, which I like uh, a lot. Here at the bottom one, very strong fabric. Inside, just around your knees, something a bit more warm. So I'm using those in the temperature from just 
around 0 degrees Celsius up to 16 and it works fine without any additional. It has the padding inside so I'm not using whip shorts uh, under it. Very very good. Um, Alright, now some things from the Rad Discount uh, store that my uh, patrons bought for, for me for testing. Thank you so much. Is the Merida Lampre a long sleeve jersey. It is lightweight, very very thin and extremely nice in touch. So this fabric is so cool. Merida Lampre, it is, it, actually it was on, uh, at least it was on the sale, on the Rad Discount. The, you have the, the links uh, below the video. Really good one. From the same store, uh, we purchased the jersey and unlike with the candle I showed you, this one is a bit more like slim design. So I like it, the color fits my candle even though it's Merida Multivan. Uh, very good jersey, it's also in the wrap discount. Uh, then something uh, I bought is the gloves. If you go back to gloves test or review, you will know the model, I don't remember it. It's uh, Pearl Izumi soft shell. Um, it's, I don't remember which one line was it, the, the more expensive one or the least expensive one? but uh, I like it from the winter, so when it's below zero, it's freezing outside, these gloves, you can operate anything like lever for your seat post, for your, uh, for your fork, anything, good stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff from Merida as well, is those warmers. Uh, I must tell you, I hate Lycra and if the Lycra has, you know, it's long shorts in Lycra, Canada at least has this Cannondale sign, which looks kind of cool, but it's if, if it's only black, all black, it, it looks ah, disgusting for me. So uh, the uh, warmers from Merida, these look kind of fun. You don't actually see it as Lycra long shorts. This color, really good with some zipper here, uh, and it's pretty warm because there is some additional fleece here. I like it. Uh, it doesn't go down uh, if you just if you just wear it on your on your uh, legs or on your arms. I have for the arms as well. Then um, temperature around I would say <laughs> around 10 degrees Celsius less even even less. Uh, some guys you know go in the shorts short beep shorts uh, in around three degrees like yesterday. I wouldn't. So maybe just above zero degrees Celsius, this without any additional jacket or jersey, long sleeve jersey, uh, is lovely. I'm, I'm loving it and this comes from Rad Discount as well. Uh, then my old helmet, you, uh, you've been asking me sometimes, this is the Med An Anaxagora, I think. No, this is Med Veleno. Sorry, Med Veleno. I've been having this one for a long time. I love it. I love the look of it. Uh, and uh, Rohelli, really cheap stuff, this. I'm always wearing it under my helmet. It helps so much, you know, for the skin. Uh, protects you against any, you know, insects in case of emergency. And also, um, if you're sweating a lot, it will stop your sweat there. So it doesn't go down to your eye glasses or just into your eyes or face. Uh, it helps so much. It looks kind of cool. I like it. If you ride uh, fast, this this thing is just dingling. Uh, so it's cool. I love it. This is Rohelli. It is super super cheap. I bought it just I don't even remember where. Somewhere Rohelli makes some pretty cheap clothing. This is good quality. Crap! Absolute crap! I cannot believe how some guys reviewing this. Thing, this gimbal, Feiyu gimbal, wearable one, say it kind of works, it does not work at all. I bought it, uh, I want to just give it back. This thing is not capable of holding on uh, to your camera. GoPro Hero 4 is too heavy. It should, without any problem, uh, cope even with uh, GoPro 4 with the additional backpack battery 
there is no chance you can do it. This actually spoiled many of my videos I did for one day. I, I was hoping to have this beautiful view and stabilized one gimbal. Feiyu WG wearable, wearable gimbal just does not work. GoPro is too heavy for this and also when I was doing the right corners it would just uh, lose horizons and was unable to, to find it back. Unless I did the left corner and then it would go back. So I cannot recommend Feiyu WG gimbal. Sorry, this is really, really bad. Maybe for walking, not for riding. And the last little thing is uh, this pocket I got from um, Canada. It's their brand called Pokpak. Or maybe Pokpak does it for them. Uh, it's waterproof. You can hide your smartphone or your wallet, your money, your documents, anything, your ID, and have it with you. Really cool. I like it. Uh, I would actually like to have smaller to have my credit card, ID, some money and that's it and have it in the pocket. If it's that big, uh, I'm just uh, uh, having it in my uh, backpack. Uh, backpack. Uh, I showed you the solar backpack I bought. It was a week ago or two weeks. I cannot recommend this thing. The water from this backpack tastes like dirt, uh, Hydra pack. It's, it's not even near the quality of the Camelback I also purchased myself. So uh, I don't know about this uh, charging uh, at the sun, in the sun, I, I haven't tested it yet. But as for drinking, it's not for drinking. It's, uh, oh, it tastes just, it is just awful. Uh, and if you forget to, to um, clean it after just one use and you just leave the water overnight, it's going to be just like plastic, like dirt. Cannot recommend it as well. Uh, Alrighty, if you have any questions regarding tires, uh, lefty, tubeless, uh, killer, old school stuff, 26er, 29er, all my gearing that you know, just feel free to ask the question. I'm gonna be uh, answering the questions uh, below this video. That's it for it. Thanks so much for watching and I'm gonna see you tomorrow guys. Bye bye!